you know, I think we, we hear a lot of amateur golfers that say, I'm not good enough, right? Or I'm not consistent enough. And, um, you know, they'll off, also say, hey, you guys can play anything. You put anything in your hands and you can hit it, which to some degree is true. But when you get to the top, well, maybe not earlier. No, I saw you. I, I, I'm just saying, but, like, we, you, like, you take our wedges, for instance. We all have different wedges. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, for a 60. Yeah, you know, like different, different bonds, different, gr- different, yeah. different, different um, you know, shafts, different grips. And why? Um, it goes throughout the whole bag. And, and why? And why? Just, just explain that a little because bit Because we all have a certain trajectory that we're trying to hit. Mm-hmm. We all have a certain spin that we want. Um, a certain just feel of certain a feel shaft. And look. That, you yeah. know, so like um, Jason plays step shafts. He plays dynamic golds, right? And I play Project X that aren't step because I don't, I don't like to feel the shaft at all. I, I, I want it to feel real boardy and, and mm. I you know, I, I don't like when the shaft kicks at the bottom, yep. you know, where people that play a step shaft, they, they have gotten used to that feel. Yeah. Mm. So there's just two different feels yeah. that... So I mean, what shaft are you playing? Yeah, 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 so you got, you got, we all have a t- all different totally. shafts. Yeah. And I, you know, what you said in that, just in that little statement there is, it's as much about performance mm. and the art of it, the feel. Yeah, and there's sure. two things that, you know, if you can line well, those you want to match up. that, the feel and the performance up. Yeah. And if yeah. you can yeah. do that the best through fitting, um, you're able to kind of narrow down what sort of heads you want, what sort of shafts, what grips you want, mm-hmm. um, and really narrow down what you're trying to accomplish. And I think when you do go into for a custom fitting, to really reiterate what trying, what ball flight and what feel you're trying to trying to obviously get. To I mean, if you're a, if you're a, like a, a beginner to the game, obviously the the person that's fitting you will kind of lead you in the right direction. But if you're you know ten and below. You kind of know what you like to see, right? And but as the fitter, I mean, the fitter, there's a job for the fitter right there, yeah. really, because they need to do that kind of interview process. Just yeah. like we see you, you know, um, you know, Keith, and obviously the boys see you more often yeah. than I do. But you know, understanding what you're trying to achieve and and um, yeah. and dissecting that and getting the stuff. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I think. Well, like what you were going to before about you know, you're saying that you know we could hit any club. But it's like, you know, we're professionals and we might have to adjust our swing a little bit. But, yeah, we can hit every club. But it's a lot harder for an amateur to understand and adjust their swing to hit any club. Yeah, right. And to be able to, like. You just don't have the feel. No, well. yeah, the feel. And knowing exactly what you're doing in order to hit it. They right. just might, you know, they don't have the feel for that. So being able to have a club that you don't have to feel anything different than what, you know, is comfortable for you, that's really important.